an advocate and a trailblazer to open up the door for somebody coming behind you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's hard. Instead, instead of shutting the door, saying, mm, we dealt with Columbus, we're not letting no more niggas in. Right. Who was like that for you that you looked up to? Lawrence, right, when you Lawrence, came Lawrence Fishburne. Oh, for mm. real? That's my Uncle Fish. Uncle Fish. Uncle Fish. Talk about him, though. Like, That's everybody. How, how did you, how did you, uh, Obviously, he showed those different characteristics, but how did you see it? Was you on set with him? Yeah, there I was, was on some set. moments where you was like, I was on set. I need he, to make he, I was on I set. To tighten up. I was on set, and he called me in his trailer. We was doing the movie called Armored, and he called me in the trailer. He said his assistant came and brought me over to his trailer, and he goes, he said, man, Grasshopper. He said, Grasshopper, when I was your age. Your age. I, was probably, I was probably 20. That's some old. Oh, right. Grasshopper. Yeah, oh, he called me Grasshopper. He <laughs> Grasshopper. When I was, the, I would have been the, I would have been the police officer, which was Milo Ventimiglia. He said I would have been the police officer. Da, 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 and you are the number one. You're the one. Mm. You're the lead of this movie. I'm going to tell you, you're an incredible actor. He encouraged me. Right. First, like, put it right in there, you. Right in there. He said, oh. I don't get it. And, I, and I started crying. I was crying in my trailer. I'm not going to lie. Right. I was crying. And, you know, because Denzel, I thought Denzel was going to be that guy. Mm. And I'll tell you just quick, little quick, small story about Denzel. Denzel, I, why did I name my son Denzel? My son's name is Denzel. Word. Mm. Yeah. Denzel, he kept little nigga to me. Like, I, he kept. Making me feel like a little nigga. He, he had you. He had you in training. You was training day. You was the white boy in training day. He kept doing that to me. For real. So finally, I was like, boom. I mean, I'm just truncating the story. <laughs> when my son was about to be born, I was like, man. My wife was like, what? What do we name our son? I was like, Denzel. Mm. Cause why? Cause now he's my little nigga. Mm. 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 That's deep. That's deep. So you can't you can't give everything away. Listen, because we got check this out. Yeah. That hey. <laughs> <laughs> and then he looked off. <laughs> he knows nah, he says some shit. <laughs> I don't want you to give everything away because man, it's yo yo yo. It's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back another edition of Urban Politicians TV. UPTV, make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in. And the first thing I instantly thought when I saw this hit my timeline today was back in the game and Twitter in the early Instagram days whenever Bow Wild and Soldier Boy would be exaggerating and doing a lot of painting where it ain't now with some of the stories they be telling. Niggas used to always edit that clip in of that black nigga. <laughs> Yo, it's a field trip behind me. They don't know it's me. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, if you don't. It did, it made me think of the super hot five freestyle days, which I think he'd have kicked those back up again now, where they would be basically mocking the battle rap game and spitting a bunch of light bars and giving a crazy reaction to it. Cause that nigga Columbus Short thought he wrecked with that bar right there. Used to treat me like a little nigga, so I named my son Dizel. Cause now you my little nigga, man. That nigga tripped out. And I'm gonna link some description from Moguls in the Making YouTube channel, cause they the one that did this interview. And I seen it hit my timeline today, and I said, David, let me go check this out real quick. And it's actually been out for a little while, but it's just starting to make the rounds in my vision right now. And I'm going to tell you like this, I'm not going to make fun of, this is no joking about Columbus short addiction or mental health problems that he's had in the past. This is strictly off the delivery and the fact that the way this played out, even the way them niggas was there, and they sat there and tried to skip past it, but they was like, hold on, bro. Hell nah, we ain't going to just skip past that shit. We got to sound the horn, the dud, the marker. <laughs> And he's like, man, nigga, this shit, wow. We ain't gonna give him too much, though. But I'm gonna tell you like this right here. My nigga Columbus Short must have been highly pressured and affected when the way Denzel handled him back in the game because that nigga say he named his son after the nigga. That means the nigga was living rent free in your head. I don't think Columbus Short is all the way serious, or I hope he's not. 
Because if he was, that mean that nigga Denzel must have really been carrying that nigga like Officer Hoyt off a train today, nigga. It ain't about what you know. It's about what you can prove, nigga. Nigga, we going to have these niggas in 23-hour lockdown. Pelican pay, nigga. <laughs> like, sitting that nigga on all type of crash dummy missions, bro. He say Lawrence Fishburg showed him love. And I'm going to tell you like this, bro. Don't ever let a nigga have that much control over your mind, your freedom, your thought process in your life, nigga. Because, nigga, the fact that you would do that to your son and say, I'm going to name you after a nigga so he can be my little nigga. Hell, nah, Columbus, short boy. You got to be lying. You can go and come out and fix this and say, man, I was just playing, bro. If I named him Denzel, that's because I really want the name him, nigga. You ain't got too much longer to get that corrected, dog. You tripped all the way the hell out with that. And, bro, we know Denzel ain't mean no harm to Denzel, one of the greatest actors, actors ever in this shit, always came off as real uh, down-to-earth, humble with the people every time he spoke. You know, that nigga Denzel gonna be one of them niggas that's gonna give it all on the film. But you see him dealing with people on the day to day. He seemed cool as hell. I never met him though, for sure. Columbus Short says otherwise, right there, saying that nigga was a little nigga in me. Maybe he was just preparing you for what you had to face out there dealing with the Hollywood style and having to come into this acting career because they say it's real grimy out there, man. But tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that 1000 for shit. So stay on your pivot. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I was crying. And, you know. Because Denzel, I thought Denzel was going to be that guy. Mm. And I'll tell you just quick, little quick, small story about Denzel. Denzel, I, why did I name my son Denzel? My son's name is Denzel. Word. Mm. Yeah. Denzel, he kept little nigga to me. Like, I, he kept making me feel like a little nigga. He, he, had you, he had you in training. You was training today. You was the white boy in training today. He kept doing that to me. For real? So finally, I was like, boom. I mean, I'm just truncating the story. <laughs> when my son was about to be born, I was like, man, my wife was like, what, what do we name our son? I was like, Denzel. Because mm. why? Because now he's my little nigga. Mm. Mm. That's deep.